I am currently sitting on my bedroom floor right now because I forgot to film an intro because I'm dumb. So in today's little work vlog for Mewtwo, I am going to go over how I made the booby plates and my favorite part, the wings. Wow. No, I'm not done with them just yet. I still have probably a couple more sandings to do. <sighs> At least the general shape is done. I need to somehow figure out how I'm going to put what I'm going to use for Mewtwo's neck tube thing. So I'm, that's what this is for. It's what this open circle is for. I don't know what I'm doing. And then obviously I need to figure out some type of something for the tail, some type of armor to go around it to kind of like conceal where the tail goes into the back. Yeah, let's just hop into the little vlog. Hey guys, so I am currently working on Mewtwo's booby plates right now, which is very exciting. So what I actually did was I put a piece of my leftover brown paper that came in like an Amazon box thing, so it was really nice. Um, free crafting materials is always a good thing. So I put that brown paper over my duct tape dummy and then I basically just drew on the pattern. And how I'm going to do this is, you see this little like half square thing here? So I'm going to have a piece of foam, probably like a thicker like 10 millimeter foam on top of I don't know, like a six millimeter foam. Then I'm going to like sand down the edges a little bit so that it's like tapering down. It has like this weird edging, but anyway. The next thing that I have to do is slap it on foam. That's really it. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up a few more patterns and then I'm gonna do that. So I kind of want like a cool hexagon-y detail on the inside here and have it fade out. I want it to look something like this. I think it looks really like cool and like spacey and mecha-y. So, so I'm going to trace a little bit of this hexagon pattern onto another piece of paper and I will put that onto the foam that I cut out for the booby plates and then take an exacto knife and then cut that out and then heat up the foam and then it'll have some cool hexagon details and it'll look kind of similar to this a little bit. So yeah. After tracing a nice hex pattern in pencil, I go over the pattern in Sharpie to make the lines a little more visible. Next, I pin the breastplate pattern to some 6mm foam, trace it, and carefully cut it out with a sharp brand new <laughs> a sharp brand new blade to get the cleanest cut. Next, I take some 10 millimeter foam and pattern the side edging that will go around the breastplate and I cut it out. After that, I trace my hex pattern onto the foam with an X-Acto knife, kind of just poking all the points of the hexagons and then I go back in with my Sharpie and a ruler to connect all the points. Wow, look at all the cool detail. I've never done anything like this before and I really love it, like the look of it, it looks so cool. Next I cut out each hexagon, being careful not to go all the way through the foam. I'm trying not to cut them out, I'm just trying to basically cut into the foam and make it kind of look like plating, if that makes any sense. I'll heat up the foam with my heat gun and it basically opens up the cuts. Can you see it? Can you see the magic happening? Wow. To get a gradient hexagon look, I went heavily with the heat gun on the upper parts of the breastplate and slowly worked my way down and didn't apply nearly as much heat at the bottom of the breastplate as I did at the top. Next, I glued on the edging, which I had sanded down to a very nice slope. So now I'm cutting out that middle piece that goes in the middle of the plate along the top edges and then I glue it down. Next, I cut out the little square piece that sits on top. I glue that on and heat it up and make it curve outward. It's kind of like a little neck protection piece with the way that it curves out, but I don't know. I think that's what the artist was intending. Next, I promise I'm wearing a shirt. It's summer. I cut out some webbing. Thank you so much, Jim, for the webbing to go around my chest and get attached to the breastplate. I got a bunch of quick release buckles from a thrift store for literally like $3. So I find two black buckles, try to show you and disappoint my entire family while dropping one and attach them to the sides of the webbing. So I went ahead and found this piece of paper. I don't know what type of paper it is, but it was all wrinkled. So I took my iron and I ironed it out. So it's a little bit less wrinkled now. But anyway, I went ahead and pinned it onto my little duct tape dummy thing. 
and I'm going to basically trace out where all the major points are and where the strapping is for the front of the breastplate and that's going to give me a little guide as to like how big I should make the back piece and where the wing should go and all that so I am going to go ahead and start on that. Alright friends, so I'm about to start working on the back of Mewtwo and I'm actually going off of this model that I found on this not secure website. I'm just going to make a quick pattern of the back of this and these wing things I think I'm going to make out of some insulation foam that I have laying around and do the little details in some like regular EVA foam. So I'm just going to make a little quick pattern and kind of just see what happens. Alright, so I got my pattern ready and I have this thick piece of insulation foam. I believe it's two inches thick. I like how I just put my finger here like, oh yeah, two inches feels like, okay, that, that just got very sexual. So right now I'm just using pins to keep the pattern in place and I'm going to take my Sharpie and just draw around it and then cut it out, which is the most difficult part because I don't have any saws or anything long enough to go through this so I'll probably have to use my Dremel like the top half of it and then go in with one of my carving knives and cut the rest out so we'll see what happens all right so I got all of them cut out and as you can see they're really messy on the side so I'm going to take my Dremel and I'm gonna go ahead and sand it down so these are the little like shoulder rocket things, I don't know, um, the shape is all there. I made two and one of these which is like the wing part and I'm actually going to take this shape and cover it in tape and then basically make a pattern out of it to make out of foam. And then I'm also going to cover these in 2mm EVA foam. So I'm going to do that. So here are my little patterns that I just cut out um, on my orange super halloween -y tape. I know, very exciting. And I made little notes to myself making sure that I cut four of each and which side of the wing it's supposed to be. Um, so I'm just going to put this onto some 2mm foam. Actually, instead of 2mm, I'm using a high density 6mm foam from Cosplay Crafts. So because I store my foam in rolls, I have to heat up my foam to get it to lay flat. So that's basically what I'm doing here. So I went ahead and just made one of the wings. Sorry, my craft room is a hot mess. <laughs> I am in the middle of working on this. So I really like the way that it came out. I am just sealing the edges a little bit because I had some gaps because I didn't really know what I was doing. Anyway, so I'm going to make the back piece now out of eight millimeter foam. So I'm gonna go ahead and trace this pattern onto the foam flip it so that I get a nice mirror image and it's one solid piece and then cut it out. So I cut out what will be the back piece and I'm just going to put some of this trim that Cosplay Crafts sent to me around this little hole right here and then I'll probably do some engraving over here just to give it a little more pizzazz. As you can see, I'm still using my trusty hot glue gun. I use the Gorilla Glue hot glue sticks and honestly my foam does rip apart before the foam actually comes apart at the hot glue seam. I can't really work with barge because it stinks and stuff and I like to just be able to go to the store and pick up hot glue whenever I need and this is like far less messy. It does work for me. Um, definitely try out different methods of gluing foam together to find out what works best for you. There are a billion videos out there. So now I'm just assembling the rocket. I ended up not using the insulation foam bases at all just because they were bulky and messy looking. I just didn't like it. And since I used 10 millimeter foam for the bases, the foam is actually Actually more than capable of holding its own weight considering how big the wings and the rockets are. 
Here I'm just cutting a 2mm cover to go over the front of the rocket with a little detail cut out in the middle that somewhat resembles what I saw on that cool figure. Next, I just sand the edges of the rocket to even it all out and make it nice and smooth. I give you a home. I give you love. And you betray me. You do this. My father gifted you to me. You betray my father. Look at that, actually. That's really gross looking. There's so much sand dust going in there. You betray me, Gremel. Here I'm just measuring the line detailing on the rocket that I already made and I'm tracing out the same pattern onto the other rocket. This kind of looks like plating, I don't, I don't know, but it was on the reference and I really like the look of it so I carefully cut along that pattern making sure not to go all the way through and then I heated it up and got the foam to separate at that little cut. Next I cut a hole the same size as the wing on the top of the rocket and I slid the wing inside. I put it up next to the other wing and angled it until they were both at the same angle. I had them both angled like really far back and kind of far away from my head because the helmet is going to be really big. You don't want to be hitting the wings every two seconds with the helmet. And then I just hot glued it into place. Then I put some 2mm foam around the base of the wing where it meets the rocket. I guess I should explain what I'm doing because I <laughs> keep forgetting to pick up the camera and talk about what I'm doing. So I'm just filling in seams right now. For this other one over here, I did some sanding because I fill seams and then I sand the seams and then I fill them again if needed, and then I sand them again. <laughs> so it's, it's a long process of filling and sanding. So fill my seams, I like to use Quick Seal, which is this wonderful stuff right here. Am I the only one that thinks that Quick Seal smells really good? I don't know why, it just, I think it smells really good. Why am I like this? This is why I'm like this. I sniff Quick Seal, this is why I'm like this. <laughs> so the wings are on, all of the seams are being sealed so i just have to wait a little bit for that to dry but i don't know i just stepped on a tripod <laughs> so yeah i'm just really waiting for it to dry and stuff this is fun i think i'm gonna clean up my craft room so that's it obviously i plan to prime it paint it and light it up but that'll be later on in this build feel free to join my patreon where i am trying to assemble a discord channel just for patrons i'll be uploading a what went wrong slash behind the scenes type video and thank you so much to my patrons for making this video possible adam hunt aliar anime crush anon blue panda calvin lewis daedric grill david rosenbaum eric jenny lynn jim w jordy the trekkie kalika kaiser malice Merton, mark nathan M. Ninja Rookie, Nanamon, Rob Thompson, Robert Gallardo, Rusty Shackleford, Sakura, Valdemir, and Yandere Dream Girl. Thank you guys so much. Have a super awesome rest of the day, and I will see you guys next week. Bye. Oh boy. Oh, I made I made rocket wings. Big brain.